What's up, y'all? So listen, we got uh, this is a special event. Um, I got my brother uh, Dwayne Etheridge on the line. You all who watch Money Mindset might have seen his interview. Uh, he was in Cognigro during that one. You couldn't see, <laughs> you couldn't see the brother face, but we got him. We got him looking in the camera and everything today. Uh, but first off, man, I, let's tell the people why we're here. So it, we got a movie coming out. That we trying to work on. what's the name of the flip uh hello everyone yeah you didn't get a chance to see my face uh during my money mindset interview i had an issue with my eye it's always something crazy but <laughs> anyway i am writer producer director uh Dwayne etheridge actor as well and um the film that we're trying to raise funds for is a feature horror slasher film entitled the halloween slasher and this film is inspired by films such as the original Halloween, uh, Halloween three season of the witch. And most notably, I know what you did last summer. Those were the inspirations for this film. And I like I said, that's, that's the, the film we're trying to fund. So this is a genre movie, a uh, horror film inspired by some pretty big uh, stories uh, that went on to be incredible movies and some even friends huge franchises right so we got the halloween slasher that you're working on uh tell the people because you uh just so everybody knows we put this together because i wanted people to understand this brother's heart his his motivation behind the movie and most importantly uh the give him an opportunity to show you all why he is asking for help so Dwayne, tell the people why exactly are you asking for help to put this movie out and what are you um accomplish Basically, I'm asking for help, <clears throat> excuse me, to get this uh, film done because I really do feel as though it's a pretty good pro. not even pretty good. I feel as though the story is good. Um, we have a great up and coming cast and it really needs to be out there. I'm a passionate filmmaker. You know, if you know me, you've seen my films. I put all my passion into everything that I do. I, I specifically love horror slasher films. I mean, you know, that's my genre. And this particular film, like I said, it was inspired by some heavy hitters. And I really want to see it get out there to the world. Um, we are currently in the Halloween time, 2022. So it's the perfect time to shoot the film. Um, let me just tell you a little bit about the cast that we do have. Um, yeah, talk about it. Have... Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was like, yeah, talk about it because you got some people on there. Yeah, we have some people. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, we have... Miss Sandy Johnson, for those of you who do not know who that is, she played Judith Myers in the original 1978 Halloween. Wow. So she was killed in the first scene of Halloween. She was stabbed to death by a young Michael Myers. Uh, you know, she was very beautiful, still is. Uh, very cool. We have conversed and uh, she's very excited about the project. I'm happy to have her aboard. Um, like I said, the film was inspired partly by the 1978 Halloween. Mm. So to have her in the film is great. Uh, we have Miss Bethany Benz. Uh, for those of you who may not know that name, she is a reality TV star. Uh, she actually got known for being on The Love of Ray J uh, back in the day. He was Caviar uh, for the people that don't remember. Yeah, Miss Caviar. Her name was yeah. Caviar on there. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, she actually is a model. Uh, event hostess and you know most notably she was in the adult film world mm -hmm. you know that's where she got her name um she's also an author she's written a book the okay. black book of bethany which is available on amazon um it's a great read pick it up um you know she is in the film as well she gonna um, be on the money mindset oh yeah she's gonna be on the money mindset so stay tuned for that interview that's gonna be dope as well yes sir um you know we have uh our lead Miss Angelina Elizabeth. And you may not know that name right now, but you will. She is an up and coming model. She's been all over the place here in the North Carolina area. Uh, she's traveled to New York most recently. Um, she's getting heavy into acting. A uh, very attractive young lady, intelligent. Um, she's going to bring her all to this character. She's excited. I'm glad to have her a part of the film. Uh, we also have model entrepreneur uh but 
actress. She does a little bit of everything. Miss Lanice Monet. Uh, she is a part of my production team as well. Okay. She, you know, is playing a significant role in the film. Very excited. She's a pretty new actress as well. And um, she's going to bring it all to her character. I know she is. And we also have a very new a model named Quinsetta Marie. Okay. Uh, she's playing a specific, um, uh, she's playing a, a role in the film as well. One of the leads, all these women that I'm uh, talking about now are playing the lead characters in the film. Uh, very attractive, like I said, ambitious, hungry young women that really want to see this film get done. And I want this opportunity for them. I want the world to see them and, you know, get a chance to see their talent. So essentially, uh, this, this, this will be a, 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 well, for some of the cast, for a good majority of cast, this is, this is a, a good springboard for them, right? Be seen in exactly. a feature film, right? Some exactly. of them trying to transition from modeling to acting. Some of them doing a little bit of both. But this is a great opportunity for the world to see, hey, I got some, some acting chops, right? So yeah. that's, a, that's why it's important that we get this movie out. Okay. Exactly, because these women have had smaller roles in other projects, but these are like big roles. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of lines. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, you never know who's going to see a film once it's out. Um, you know, other directors. I mean, the goal is to get them seen and cast it in bigger roles and, you know, just really put a shed a light on them. I mean, because I really believe in these young ladies and I feel as though they're going to bring the characters to life. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, so we have, uh, who did I say? I said Angelina, Quinsetta, Lanice, um, and who else? Uh, I said Bethany. Um, we also have Mr. Marcus. Oh, the kid is in this too, that's Mr. right. Mr. Marcus, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mason. Yeah. In yeah. the film. Yeah. Not gonna say what he's doing yet in right. the film. Right, just know he had the building. To, Right. He has a very significant role in there. <laughs> it's something totally different right. for him, something you haven't seen him do. So right. if you're a fan of Mr. Marcus Mason, I think you will enjoy it. And yeah, you know, we're, we're ready to go. I'm excited. I We've been talking about working together for a while. And right. yeah, we're finally going to do it. Yeah. And this is going to be one of many. One of many. Oh, yeah. One of many to come. So, uh, we also. So, I'm sorry. You got it. Go ahead. Yeah, we also have um, uh, up and coming actress from Indiana. Uh, her name is Miss Jessa Flux. She played lead. Well, not the lead. She was uh, like the secondary lead in my upcoming film, Slumber Party, Slaughter Party 2. Okay. She's a very attractive, intelligent, ambitious young lady. Very good actress as well. Um, you know, so she has a small part in there. And again, this is another opportunity for her to shine, for people to see her. And you know, um, it's gonna it's gonna be great with her. And we also have a another actress that um, I haven't met in person yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Her name is Miss Rachel Hoffman. Mm -hmm. um, she does a lot of like, um, what do you call that? Um, what's the ghostly type of stuff online? Like the the it's not coming to me. What's, what do you watch? Like those shows, the paranormal shows. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she does a lot of that type of stuff, and she's wow. pretty new into acting as well. Okay. Uh, she has a couple of horror films she's working on. Mm. So, yeah, those are just some of the cast members in there. And, I mean, like I said, this film is important to me because I really want people to see my vision, see my passion, and I want to get it out to the world. All right, so we have an opportunity here, right? So uh, Dwayne's got this project uh, where it's got some up-and-comers, some people who've been in the industry for a while some old faces that are coming back in. Uh, and, but most importantly, it's a really great opportunity to get some of these young, uh, young in age and also young to the game, uh, an opportunity to shine. So, so we have that. How long have you been trying to put this movie out? I've been working on this movie over a year. Um, I actually wrote the script around this time last year. And uh, for those that you know, you know, may not know, know whatever. Um, I had a heart transplant earlier this year, February uh, 2022. So that took me out for a while. Um, you know, of course, I wasn't filming and, uh, you know, had a lot of other personal things happen this year. Um, you know, like I lost my mother in April shortly after um, my surgery. And, you know, my the thing that keeps me going as far as 
with the film is the fact that my mother would definitely would not have wanted me to stop anything. Uh, we had several conversations about my filmmaking and things of that nature. And she was one of my biggest supporters. I know initially she probably was like, you gonna make movies, really? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, once she saw that I was serious about it, she stuck with me. I mean, she wanted me to do the premiere for my films and stuff like that. So I'm like, all right, I have to keep it going. You know, um, I have to get this film done in addition to Slumber Party, Slaughter Party 2. You know, because like I said, I just really want to get them out there to the world. You know, right. I mean. So just so everybody, just to bring it back, this brother is together about a year ago. Um, oh, hold on. I, I'm, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. All right. So, yeah, this brother put this project about a year ago, uh, went through heart surgery, lost a mother, still trying to um, find a way to get this out, gathered this amazing cast, and now we're here after going through all of these things in, in a year's time, and now we're here and we're asking for help. So, Dwayne, tell the people a little bit about exactly what you're looking for. Basically, um, on me and every and, and, and all that. OK, so I set up the GoFundMe um, to get the funding for the film um, to get the project complete. I'm asking for about, you know, three thousand uh, dollars, which is really nothing. It's not a lot of money at all. Yeah. Um, you know, I know everybody has financial situations and things of that oh. nature. I totally understand that. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I said, to put together a project of this magnitude for that amount of money is really nothing. Mm -hmm. And pretty much what that will go towards is paying the actors, uh, renting Airbnbs to shoot out of, um, of course, feeding the actors for those that are out of town, covering their travel and things of that nature, and mm -hmm. also go into post-production. Um, so if you put towards, depending on how much you contribute. Um, if you put, especially if you put together like anything, any amount, let me say this first, any amount is appreciated. Any amount is appreciated and accepted, but anything $50 and over, you automatically receive a producer's credit on the film. And what does that do? Yeah, the talk producer, about that. Yeah, as far as the producer's credit, if you're trying to get, let's say you're new into the business, you're trying to become a film producer, director, actor, or anything of that nature is, and you're trying to build your credits, you have no credits. You can say that, you know, I was a producer on the film, The Halloween Slasher. I contributed, you know, or you don't have to say how much you did, but I was a producer on the film. Like I said, it, it goes on your IMDB. You can put that on your resume as well. Um, you know, like I said, and this film will be distributed around the world on our new platform, uh, which will be the rewind network okay. and all right we back go ahead brother what were you, you, you yeah just basically it looks good um you know you can say that you were a um producer on the film mm -hmm. the film will be distributed on the new platform the rewind network <laughs> so it'll be seen around the world um you know it's, it's just a good look if you're trying to get into the film business Okay. You know, so that's one thing that you would receive for, you know, because everybody wants to get something. Sure. So that's definitely a perk of donating towards the film. Sure. And then <laughs> again, uh, so you 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 gave everybody, uh, to me, a, a, a extremely solid reason for donating. Like, hey, listen, I have this producer credit. That's something that, you know, maybe it would have took years into the game to be able to do. And now right. you have this opportunity to help produce this small film. But I want to get to the heart of the people again and just say, listen, um, you know, we've supported many things that have less meaning. Right. But this is a what you're doing is providing an opportunity for uh, a group of thespians, a group of actors, actresses, director, writer, producer, um, an opportunity to put themselves out there in a project that I definitely feel is going to expose them to an audience that they may not have an opportunity to be exposed to. And it only requires a certain, uh, uh, in, in any amount of money. And the great thing about what Dwayne is asking for, he's just saying, whatever's on your heart to give, give. 
right? But anything above fifty dollars, you'll get a producer credit. So the point is, you know, um, if you are the type of person that's looking for projects that to get involved in, to help with, if you're the giving type of person, like I just want to see people succeed. You know, I think this is a great opportunity uh, to sow a seed into, and you know, not to get. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but I do believe that you reap what you sow. I believe in sowing in other people's lives. And I believe that what you put out there will come back to you. So if you're looking for good ground to sow into, I think this is a great project to be involved in. But again, this is an opportunity to really help some people shine and also help you shine. Because again, you get a producer's credit with anything above $50. Um, so I appreciate that, Dwayne. I, I think this is important that people understand that this is a real project. And it means a lot to not just you, but to the entire cast, all that is involved, including me, which is why I said, man, let, let's talk to the people, right? right. Um, right. So how can the people invest? How can the people donate? How do they find you? Basically, uh, you can look me up on Facebook. That's Dwayne Etheridge, uh, D-E, capital W, A-Y-N-E, last name E-T-H-E-R-I-D-G-E, -E, Dwayne Etheridge. Uh, you can also reach me on my Bryant at the Rich page. That is B R Y A N T E T H E R I D G E. Follow me on Instagram, Pure Prestige Productions. Um, I also have uh, a for Miss Bethany Benz, who I also manage. Um, I do have a page for her as well. And that page on Instagram is Book Bethany Benz. Um, so you can reach me that way. And I do have the GoFundMe set up. I can send you the link and also provide my cash app as well. You know, whatever works best for you. Um, I accept PayPal as well. I don't really have a Zelle or anything right now. Um, but yeah, like I said, as far as, you know, if you donate, you get the producer's credit. Your name will be at the beginning, the opening credits of the film, the closing credits, IMDB. You can put it on your resume. And this film will be seen. I know some projects, you know, you might donate towards and never see the project or whatever the case may be. And a lot of people are worried about that, which is a legitimate concern. I completely understand. But this film will be seen. Like I said, we have the platform to where it will be seen. And we'll also have Blu-rays for those of you that still like physical media. So, you know, um, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, not only will you get the producer's credit, you get an actual copy of the film. You know what I'm saying? You get a physical copy if you want it. You know, we also have some other little perks as well. Like I'll be having T-shirts and things of that nature. But, you know, like I said, just if you feel compelled to, you know, donate and put something towards it by all means, please do. Um, I have no problem, you know, with you reading the script. I'll, you know, send you the script to read, check it out and, you know, go from there i mean you know because like i said I, I really want to get this project done it's yeah. going to be a good opportunity for everyone involved i feel Facts. and you can find me as y'all know marcus l mason on instagram marcus l mason on facebook uh dm me whatever what have you if you know somebody who you think would be interested in investing or donating send this video to them as well uh share uh amongst all the platforms that you're a part of because we really want to be, uh, we really want to, to to put this film out, asking for a little help, you know, not much, not a Hollywood budget. Uh, right, right. We're not, we're not asking for uh, 50 mil. No, nah, we, we on our, uh, we on our um, uh, Robert Townsend right now. <laughs> yeah, straight Robert Townsend. Because, I mean, you don't even realize that, like, $5 can go towards, like, uh, anything. I mean, you know, like, you know. Yeah, we on our Hollywood shuffle grind right now, y'all. Right. If right. you don't know what that is, then uh, you got to do your research. But, yeah, um... you definitely got to do your research if you don't know <laughs> nothing about that. Hollywood shuffle, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. But, yeah, but I mean, you know, um, I just want to thank you, Marcus, for first off being a part of the film. Um, you know, like I said, you and I have been talking for about, what, three years? Yeah, about, about a couple of years. Yeah, we, we've been talking, but I mean, it's going to be worth it in the end. This film will get done. I, I see it. I see it. I see the complete thing, the the whole project. I see us sitting back 
at the theater, at the premiere, enjoying it, talking about this right here, having this conversation. Like, you remember when we did that video? Yeah. But, um, you know, but yeah, I want to thank you. I want to thank the cast. I want to thank everybody, you know, that has signed on to be a part of the project. I want to thank you for your patience and understanding, you know, my situations that I've gone through and just still being excited and still being ready to be in the film. Like, that means a lot to me. Well, listen, man, I want to thank you first and foremost for trusting me with your project and yes, uh, and, and casting me. Um, despite us talking about this for years, it's still an honor and a privilege. I feel that you trusted me to to take on the role that you asked me to take on. Um, and uh, despite the many obstacles that you've run in through over the year, your drive and uh, consistency is inspirational, bro. And, it, and it's rubbed off on the cast and we, we excited. We excited to see your vision come to pass. And, and uh, so I appreciate you jumping on once again with me on Money Mindset and uh, to talk about this. This is a special edition um, because I really want the people to see what you have to offer to the world and also for these actors and actresses to have an opportunity to be able to shine. Um, so y'all, y'all support, man. Y'all support. We, we support McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, all these other places, and all they give us is high cholesterol and, and high blood pressure. Basically, yeah, basically. So, yeah, um, let's support something productive. <laughs> right, right. Let's sow seed into some people and watch watch lives get changed, including yourself, because I really, truly feel you're going to be entertained by not only this film, but everything that each person that is a part of this project will do going forward. I think oh, yeah. that what you are all going to be is a part of a chain reaction of greatness and um, jump in now, jump in soon, jump in while it's early. Um, so you can say, Hey, I was a part of that. I was a part of that exactly. start. I was a part of that jump off. Salute Great. to you, brother. Go ahead. Appreciate it. And then you can come out to the premiere, you know, and, and say, yeah, I was a producer. Look at my name on the lights yeah, on walk, the big screen. Walk the, walk the red carpet with us. Yeah. Walk the red carpet, take some pictures and feel like a Hollywood star. That's you know, right. let's make this film happen. Let's get it done. Okay. I appreciate you in advance. You know, check out everything Pure Prestige Productions and, you know, YouTube page, new you, uh, I'm sorry, new Pure Prestige Productions. That's the YouTube, new Pure Prestige Productions. Right. So follow him on the gram, follow him on YouTube, follow me on the gram, follow me on YouTube, DM us. We'll get the information out to you. We'll get uh, 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 the and how you donate information and 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 let's get this thing going y'all sure let's do it let's do Salute, it family i appreciate you i'll see you in a minute all right y'all y'all have a good night i'll see y'all at the red carpet let's go all right man